pleased to announce joining us in the studio is uh, Vedika Bahel over by the big board. A very good evening to you. Uh, following Sunday's surprise election results uh, by the French left, that's the French left sweeping uh, to victory. Uh, the far right expected the win, but it didn't happen. The voters rejected the far right, though there's no overall majority. So an element of uh, chaos politically here in France right now. Vedika, it's safe to say that there was a lot of disinformation going around as well. Tell us about that. Yes, Mark, indeed there is. I think by now we've all seen uh, the images of the jubilation from Sunday night after those re election results. Uh, and of course, these images the, at the iconic Place de la République here in Paris, um, that celebration that went on for a very long time, even after the results uh, were announced that the, uh, the left, the new popular front, had uh, had surprisingly defeated the far right now. But even in the last 24 hours, there has been a plethora of misinformation uh, circulating about these celebrations and what they looked like. So let's have a look at that. Now, this is one tweet, uh, for example, had nearly 4 million views on it. And it says here that the victory rally for the new French government has more Palestinian flags than French flags. And indeed, if we take a look at the video, it does show uh, crowds and crowds of people uh, waving Palestinian flags in a very packed square. Um, and now this claim that we're seeing here absolutely spiraled online. There was a barrage of interactions and responses uh, to it. Um, we can see in one example here that had nearly uh, 3 million views on it saying not a French flag in sight. Um, another one, if we take a look at this one, this one says here, this is what uh, replacement looks like. So we can very much see how uh, this video is therefore being used in order to uh, create and kind of stir an anti-immigration uh, sentiment. Now, this, this video went viral to the point, in fact, its reach was so great online that uh, the Australian branch of Sky News also used it as part of their coverage about Sunday's uh, legislative results. Um, and they called this video the victory rally. So that shows how misleading this video really was except, of course, that this video wasn't anything to do with Sunday's uh, election celebrations in Paris. A reverse image search showed me that, in fact, that video that we saw there uh, is dated from a month ago, from the 1st of June. That's when we can see it posted uh, online. And it is, in fact, from a pro-Palestinian rally that took place in Lyon, not in Paris, but in the French city of Lyon. And this is backed up by local media who also covered uh, this rally as well. So it does all check out. Uh, and whilst it is true that the French left, and this has to be said, they have been uh, vocal and outspoken about uh, calling for a ceasefire uh, in Gaza. And as we can see from this, uh, this real video that was filmed at Place de la République last night, there are uh, indeed Palestinian flags present in the celebrations, but by no means are they anywhere near as numerous as the ones we saw in that viral video because, of course, that is a pro-Palestinian rally, Mark. So, some embarrassing moments for at least one major news organisation being misled on that one. And, of course, many people online are being taken in as well. But uh, thank you, better for clearing up uh, the uh, truth and the fake about uh, that particular video. Now, speaking of flags, this isn't the only example you found that used non-French flags in order to spread a false narrative. Tell us more. No, it's absolutely uh, not, Mark. This is another example of a video spread out of context, again, using Place de la République in Paris uh, as part of its, uh, as part of its uh, narrative here. So if you take a look at this one, this one had nearly 2 million views on it, and the caption reads, RIP France, with the death date reading uh, 2024. Now, in the video attached to it, Again, at Place de la République, we can see scores of people uh, at the monument waving Algerian flags this time. And again, this triggered uh, a, a wave, a barrage, if you will, of um, anti-immigration comments. We can have a look at a few of those, but they all kind of uh, very much looked at those same things that we talked about in the previous example about the replacement theory and anti-immigration sentiments. Um, but as I said, this image is this this video is being misrepresented. It's not recent. It's nothing to do with the elections, and it is in fact dated. Now, I wasn't able to find uh, the precise example that shared that exact video on social media. Um, however, I was able to find an example that, that tweeted it over a year ago. Now, this is dated from last July, so it is a year old, and it is that same video that we saw there. But I will uh, be transparent that the person who tweeted this also shared it again out of context. This person uh, was sharing it, linking it to protests by the Algerian community uh, in France uh, last year in 2023 uh, over the death of a French Algerian teenager at the hands of the police. But that is not what this video actually is. What that video truly shows us um, is demonstrations from even further back, back in 2019, when the Algerian diaspora uh, in France demonstrated against the, the Algeria's former president, Abdel 
Aziz Bouteflika running for a fifth term as president. And indeed, once I knew that and I uh, was able to search for other um, videos and, and, and images from that date and under, under those names, I was able to find other videos and images showing that same angle at Place de la, la République. So that very much does check out that this is what this video uh, is from. So I can absolutely confirm that this is also uh, being shared out of context. They are real images, but they are four years old, so they are being misrepresented there. Nothing at all linked to the French election results from Sunday night, uh, just being used, Mark, to, to stir and shake up anti-immigrant uh, rhetoric.